What is up, everybody? Welcome to New Comic Book Day for, what is this, the 15th? 8th? I don't know. I don't know where we are. This just came out. That's what New Comic Book Day <laughs> this is. <laughs> I start, man. I'm in between, uh, I'm in between semesters. I don't know what the date is. This is, I just kind of like kicking back, having some fun, doing a little hobby stuff. Might do some painting tonight. Look at this. I'm making a little wood carving boat for Nerdicane Jr. Um, if I get good at this stuff, I actually might start doing hand-carved wooden props for D&D, uh, &D, like D&D &D miniatures. I got some pretty cool ideas. Uh, imagine like a... Uh, imagine like a, a gnome Voltron. I had an idea for that, a design for that. But anyway, I digress. Getting back to comics, which is why you follow me. But... Uh, so these came out. I'm going to redo these a little later. Um, once again, Alternate Comics. Look at this. Buck 50? You, oh, man. There's no downside to that. If the comic's bad or if you don't like it, uh, you're out a buck 50. Whereas if this winds up being bad, which I don't think it is because this is Ed Brisson, um, you're out five bucks. <clears throat> but Alternate Comics are craft comics. So the odds of this being bad being like the writer just picking up a paycheck are very, very low because this is a creator driven. This is creator uh, produced comic that just happens to go through Alterna. Uh, if you see Alterna comics or if you don't see, here, here's the better thing. If you don't see Alterna comics on the shelves of your comic book store, please ask them to start carrying Alterna comics. They're so good. Um, but getting back to where what we're doing here, Thor number four. This is the end of the first arc of uh, this new Thor series, and they are in hell. Um, there's a war going on in hell. They're kind of doing like a Game of Thrones, like, uh, marriage thing, uniting two armies to kind of be the bigger army and take over. Uh, as we left off in the last one, God, I hope I did the video on that. I hope I released the video on that. Um, if not, I'm going to have to go back and do that and release three before I do four. But uh, anyway, Thanos shows up to break up this wedding. Only he's not here to he's not here to break up the wedding. He's here to break up with her, um, not her. Her on the previous page, and it's actually kind of it's kind of funny how he does it. He's just like, uh, yeah, my old mistress called me back. So um, or no, yeah. He's he's in love with the Infinity Stones, so he's after the Infinity Stones. So that's a cool thing. Because that means that finally, once again, Marvel comic books have a continuity. What Thanos is doing here is affected by what's going on in Infinity War, in another comic book. He's, go, he's leaving this storyline to go be part of another storyline, which is something that we've been missing from, comic, from Marvel comics for a while. It's a lack of that, that continuity in the universe where... If a character has to do something big in another issue, they're not going to be in a different issue doing something minor. They're going to be over here. So that's that's a cool sign that we're starting to see from Marvel again. Um, maybe Sibolsky's bringing that back. Um, I don't know. Uh, Thor is like my new favorite part of this. And he's this just this rampage murder dog. And he, call, he calls himself a murder dog. I don't know what he is exactly. But um, he kind of does this cool thing where he's like in the battle and he's doing he's just tearing stuff up but he has this conflict is like you know what i could just leave all of this and go find a home and find a new master and who will play with me and you know because he, he's he loves thor um thor's his master thor's thor's his boy and he thinks that thor is dead which technically yes he is um so he's masterless sort of rudderless and the decision he makes, or the decision he toys with is, you know what, just go be a dog somewhere. And that's kind of cool for, just, he's, he's just an ancillary character, but I'm really starting to love Thori. Um, this right here is pretty cool. This was like, okay, so Loki killed Thor, as we did in the last, as we covered in the last issue. Um, Thor is going to Valhalla to rally the Valkyries to come in and fight, which... In this should have been bigger. It should have been a bigger scene in this comic book. Um, so Loki, I'm not sure what this is, but Loki ties this to the end of the hammer. 
So, and it's a pretty cool way because Valhalla is separate from all the realms and people don't really know how to get there. Otherwise, they would be going there all the time and coming back. So people don't know how to get there. Um, so he goes there to rally the, the Valkyries. Um, this should have been more of a... This should have been... This should have taken a little more time with this because uh, the Valkyries are in Valhalla. They don't need to fight. He should have had to come through and convince them to fight somehow. Uh, it should have been... Because basically he just shows up and says, hey, let's go fight, and they take off to go fight with him. But the cool thing is that he's in Valhalla. Nobody ha knows how to get to Valhalla. Loki ties this to the end of his hammer, and then he calls his hammer. So suddenly, this very... This kind of interesting um, theme of not being able to know, not knowing where Valhalla is, gets solved very... Um, very cleverly. That's actually really good writing. That's really neat. I like the way they did that. Um, hmm. Yeah, so Thor breaks up with her. Uh, or not Thor, sorry. Thanos breaks up with her. And I kind of I kind of chuckled at the way he did it. It was kind of funny. But I'm not going to end... I'm not going to spoil the ending of this. There's kind of a twist at the end um, that I didn't see coming. But I didn't see it coming because it was two characters that I didn't really care about. Uh, so I'm not going to spoil it, but what I am going to get into is this art style, which is kind of growing. I, I have a love-hate relationship with this art style. So if you look at this cover, um, is it Del Mundo, Mike Del Mundo? Oh yeah, sorry, credit where credit's due. Um, so, okay, this art style, this is very, and the way it's colored, it has sort of a very fantasy look to it. Here, I don't, okay, I don't want to distract you with these other comic books has a very fantasy very bright very contrasting colors to it and i i sort of like it but if you get a bunch of figures close together in battle this art style kind of tends to just bleed together and be one giant blob um so i saw this on the i looked this over i overlooked this on the shelf like three times when i was looking for it i was specifically looking for it because they obscured uh, Thor, and then it was just like a big colorful blob. It was, I don't know if I have, no, I don't, I don't have one of my son's drawings here. Um, one of his crayon drawings. But I could put that next to it and they would have very similar things to them. as like sort of lines and, and blobs and smudges. And it, it's, I do like it. This style, this art style, this is beautiful. I like this because this is sort of, Valhalla, which is sort of like a heavenly realm. Uh, I like the way this looks. It's kind of clouded, and, and Thor is, is dressed in these robes, and it's very... The lighting is done very well, and, and it's, I, I do like this when it's, when it's like this. But when you get into situations like this, this just looks like a blob. It's, it's hard to tell what the heck is going on here. Uh, same with that. There's so many things in this comic book battle scenes where you get a bunch of characters together where it just seems like like just blobs are all over the screen i'm not gonna i don't want to spoil this um but what i do want to do is if you've watched this far here you go here's a free comic thank you for watching uh hit a like and hit a subscribe i always like those um but here's a free comic spider geddon right there so if you've stayed this long you get a free comic you're welcome um, there was a variant cover to this, which it didn't do much of a better, it, it wasn't, didn't do much of a better job, um, alleviating this sort of color, color blob that this style does. It's, I don't know how long this dude's going to be on this series. Marvel doesn't tend to keep their, their artists on series for very long, um, which I, I know why they do it, but I, it's also kind of a shame that they do it because I think... Mike Del Mundo's style could work very, very well for this the Thor series, and it could be the defining thing of this Thor series. The series is the look, <clears throat> and I think with a little more practice and a little more experience in this realm, I think you would you wouldn't see these just color blobs blending together as much anymore. You give this guy, you give Mike Del Mundo like a twenty five issue run on this. And I think you could, I think you would get a very distinct looking, very beautiful Thor series. But I don't think Marvel will do that. 
Um, because, you know, 2018 Marvel, you know how they do things. But, uh, that's all I got for that. I'm not gonna spoil this one. Uh, enjoy the free comic, whoever gets the free comic. And, um, oh, there's my, I'm gonna end here on my favorite character of this series, having his, his emotional moment. It's beautiful. But, I'm Nerdicane. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna crank some videos today. I might do five uploads today. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. For, blah, 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 for subscribing. Um, I got to do a little bit of work today, but I'm going to do a lot of videos. But thank you for your time. Y'all have a really, go have a really good new comic book day. Go find something new. Go experiment with something. Grab something off the shelves that you don't normally get. That's something new, which is what I did here. Um, as always, alternate comics. Craft comics for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for your time. Have a good day. Let me get this uploaded. Bye.